Welcome back to Unnati Unleashed. I'm your host Sagarika Sharma, back with another captivating episode. Today with us joining Miss Geeta Menon, ma'am. I welcome you, ma'am, to our podcast and thank you so much for gracing us with your presence, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, ma'am, I have a few questions for you. With your permission, I would like to begin. Please. So, ma'am, can you please tell us about your career before joining Unnati Family? I started working as a lecturer mm -hmm. for about a year and then I was with Air India for close to 40 years. Then I was with an NGO and then I was with a medical center which did alternate medicine okay. and then I came to UNP. So ma'am, what made you come to Unnati and join Unnati family? Uh, a family friend was connected to the team okay. and uh, I was very interested uh, listening to what they were doing which was very different from the NGO that I would worked in. Mm -hmm. So I decided to give it a shot. So ma'am, as you said, you were in Air India and I'm sure uh, like the life there is extremely structured and runs on time. So is it any different when it comes to social te sector? It is. It should be very different. We are also very structured actually, mm -hmm. but like in Air India, I think there are a lot of delays in, the, in people reaching their place of work. Uh, but it is very difficult, a diff different and a, a difficult program because it is value based, mm -hmm. totally value based. Yes, there are no books. Mm -hmm. There is no uh, exam, mm -hmm. there is no assessment of the beneficiaries. Okay. Uh, all we keep in mind is the empowerment of the beneficiaries, mm -hmm. empowerment of the youth mm -hmm. and their ability to manage to get a job mm -hmm. to take their life forward. So in that sense it's very, very different. Oh, yes. There's no judgment of the beneficiaries. Right. Okay. Yeah. I see. So ma'am, uh, do you remember your first few years here in Unnati and is it any different today? If yes. What is it? Yeah, it is. Well, the most uh, uh, you know obvious difference is that it has expanded enormously. We've mm -hmm. grown, and uh, as things are when they grow, um, it is more and more difficult to ensure the delivery of a program. So when I came in here, we have very few centers, and we keep a tight uh, uh, not control, but we watched over the program, and there was a lot of interest at a very personal level mm -hmm. with the change makers and so yeah. on. Now it's far too large for that. So we have to depend on the motivation, self-motivation of the change makers, yeah. because as I said, it is a program that empowers the empowers, youth, and you yeah. you should want to empower them. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Yeah, true. So, ma'am, uh, like in your opinion, what sets Unnati apart from uh, any other NGOs? That it is not knowledge based, mm -hmm. and that it does not judge the youth. That we take youth from any walk of life, even if they have studied only for two years or three years in school, we take them. And there are jobs for them as well. Uh, the most important focus is on the future of the youth, empowerment of these youth, so that they can start a life for themselves and their families and their community. So yes. to that extent, we don't teach any tangible skill, like mm -hmm. you know, sewing or knitting or anything yeah, like yeah. that. But mm -hmm. we teach them a skill which is uh, very powerful, mm -hmm. which is their personality and their attitude to work, their attitude to the rest of the country on yeah. all fronts. Yes, so it makes them very powerful if they really benefit and you know attend the program regularly and so on so in that sense it's very very different it's not it's completely value-based so if you have good values you have a good society yes. that's what it means yeah of course like we have seen that uh, unnati is making people skillful for life life yes life. yes so that's and, and whatever skill they may do later mm -hmm. you know you do well sometimes you don't do well sometimes yeah. they need the life skill to be able to absorb everything yes. and because they're from a community that is not, you know, un underprivileged. Yeah, we, yeah. we shouldn't use the word underprivileged, yeah. but they've not had as many yes, opportunities. Yeah. The going is going to be tough. tough yeah. You know, they go into a work ethic they're not used to. They mm -hmm. go into offices they are not used to. Yeah. So there's a lot for them to be able to manage, yes, and that is why this value-based program is very, very critical. critical yeah. True, ma'am. So, ma'am, lastly, I would like to conclude with: if you have any advice for our viewers, or if you want to share anything. So ma'am, please. Yeah, for the viewers, I don't know who your viewers would be, <laughs> but I think they should take the same interest in people around them. You yes, know, they should try and help people who don't have opportunities to, and you don't need money for that. Yes, I mean, they can send them to Uniti for starters. Yeah. <laughs> and otherwise, they should be able to uh, guide them through with better life skills and attitude and values. These values are very, very critical. Yeah. So that's my uh, advice to them. Only then we can have a better society and better country. Country, yeah, true. Thank you so much for your lovely advice, ma'am. And you. thank you so much for joining us. And it was indeed a great talk with you. Thank you so thank much, ma'am. And thank you, viewers, for staying connected with us. So keep 
supporting and loving us and stay connected for new and more interesting episodes. Thank you so much.